If you want to hear about the damage caused by cybercrime, listen to someone from Newfoundland and Labrador. Everybody knows somebody who had very significant things that were cancelled. In 2021, a ransomware attack plunged the province's healthcare system into chaos, delaying thousands of appointments and procedures. You know, I had a couple of family members undergoing a couple of different kinds of cancer treatments at the time. Today, Canada's Cyber Intelligence Agency issued a stark warning, saying ransomware isn't just a concern. It is a national threat uh, because it not only it impacts schools, it impacts hospital, it impacts a critical infrastructure that can in turn uh, have devastating impact on citizens. Today, officials also named and shamed one country in particular. It's no secret that some of these cyber criminal organizations are being harbored uh, in Russia, uh, and Russia's maybe turning a blind eye to them. Officials warned that criminals are increasingly partaking in what's called big game hunting, targeting critical infrastructure and essential services, in hopes of big payouts from desperate victims. So far, hackers have gone after municipalities in Canada, including an attack in 2020 that knocked the city of St. John's systems offline. A ransomware group went after Toronto's Sick Kids Hospital last year, triggering a code gray, signifying a system failure. Individuals are being hit by cybercrime too. More than half a billion dollars was stolen from Canadians last year. The RCMP says that number is likely higher. So, you know, we think that could be could be multiplied by, by 10. The RCMP says it is trying to go after international criminals. Meanwhile, cyber experts stress that prevention is key, urging those running critical infrastructure to invest now to secure up-to-date systems or perhaps pay big later. Catherine Tunney, CBC News, Ottawa.